oracles foresee disaster. And once the Tesla, a haven in the wilds, is terrorized by monsters like none have seen before. My world is filled with heroes, but none of them are strong enough to defeat the enemy hiding in plain sight among them. So much power, so much adoration, and what do the gods do with it? They meddle. Ethara coddles the humans like children, while Phoenix, ever amused by their torment, finds new ways to enjoy them. Parametra strives to keep the mortals sheltered from the gathering shadows. And Mogus has seized the opportunity to set his minotaurs upon them. But standing among their ranks is the Sun God's champion, Elspeth. <laughs> oh, yes. So now, they revel in their victory. While I make my place in the sky, among the gods. Darkness approaches. May the fates aid any who venture into the night. Does a hero's journey begin? The moment you step outside the safety of your home? Or when you realize the fight has just begun? Is it when you comprehend how small you are compared to the vastness of what threatens to destroy you? The journey isn't a lonely road, and you didn't have to face the darkness alone. Lesser souls lose heart and lay down their swords, but a champion risks everything for the greater good. Take comfort in this. True heroes never die. The sun rises, the sun sets. But we all have to cross the river someday. Even her. Resign yourself to your glorious fate.
the gods who hold dominion over the world. The givers of light. The stewards of the wilds. The guardians of the dead. Some would manipulate mortals. Create catastrophes. Send monsters to terrorize the land. Such are the whims of the gods. And I am healed, the greatest of these. Yet something, something ominous gnaws at the edges of my world. Akros is home to fierce warriors, yet they struggle against hordes of minotaurs. In Miletus, the city of philosophers, oracles foresee disaster. And Satessa, a haven in the wilds, is terrorized by monsters like none have seen before. My world is filled with heroes, but none of them are strong enough to defeat the enemy hiding in plain sight among them. Yet, I know one who is. So much power, so much adoration, and what do the gods do with it? They meddle. Ethara coddles the humans like children, while Phoenix, ever amused by their torment, finds new ways to enjoy them. Parametra strives to keep the mortals sheltered from the gathering shadows. And Mogus has seized the opportunity to set his minotaurs upon them. But standing among their ranks is the Sun God's champion, Elspeth. be enough to save him. <laughs> oh, yes. So now, they revel in their victory. While I make my place in the sky among the gods. Darkness approaches. May the fates aid any who venture into the night alone. When does a hero's journey begin? The moment you step outside the safety of your home, or when you realize the fight has just begun? Is it when you comprehend how small you are compared to the vastness of what threatens to destroy you? When did you learn that the journey isn't a lonely road and you didn't have to face the darkness alone? Lesser souls lose heart and lay down their swords. But a champion risks everything for the greater good. There we go. Uh, just one more second. 
Hey, what's up, guys? Steve here, and it is time to start another stream. Our our uh, guest Angel is running late, apparently. Um, it feels unfortunate starting without him, especially since we had such a good time playing Fable One. But uh, I guess the show goes on. Um, I will go ahead and send him one more message here to make sure. He shows up. Alright. Anyways, the show must go on. Alright. So, ironically, um, Fable 3 couldn't get it in the Microsoft Store. I knew I owned it. Um, I knew my brother owned it. I knew somebody owned it. All I had to do was log in. Oh, are you here? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Okay, I'm great. Sorry about that. So, my weird mom thing. Right when I was coming over. Weird thing about Fable Three. Um, so you can't buy it anymore. Hmm. From on PC, you actually have to pirate it to get it. Really? <laughs> I thought that was funny. Um, I was looking it up on the Microsoft Store and. I had, I had it for uh, for Xbox 360, but I couldn't find it for uh, PC. I knew I had it. Either I had it, or my brother had it, and I logged in his account too, and it it just wasn't there. So our only resort was pirating it because I knew you could play it. Fable right, Three right. is an Xbox or Fable Two is an Xbox 360 exclusive, and I also realized do um. If I were to do the screen monitoring thing, I couldn't do that yeah. because you can't. So the, if I was to use the TV as a monitor, the TV would become a monitor. I couldn't, I couldn't like share what was on the TV because it would become a computer monitor. Right. It wouldn't. Right. It wouldn't be the TV. It would be a monitor. So I would. There would be no way to do it without like a capture card. Ah. Uh, Anyways, I got it. let's go ahead and get started. I'm, I'm excited. I'm sorry. I'm like. I'm super excited too. And so our story I've mm. never played Fable Three as a as an evil file. But who will be yeah. The hero to lead the because it was a blast in Fable One, man. I, oh I yeah. Like... Oh. oh, we're obviously gonna be a dude. Unlike you, I don't I don't play. Well, um, I'm, hey, wait a second. <laughs> I may be playing game, most man. of the. <laughs> I maybe play most of the games on hard, but this is a game that I strictly play for fun. Oh, okay. I played uh, Fable 1 on normal. I'm playing Fable 3 on normal. I'm not going to test my skills on hard, especially when this one... You, you actually probably don't know everything about this one. I mean, I probably beat this one maybe ten times. Hmm. Compared to the other. The other one I probably beaten like sixty times. Yeah. Well, fifty maybe. When freedom is nothing but a dream. The chicken wants to be a pigeon. <laughs> Lead a rebellion. <laughs> to be a hero. <laughs> Welcome to the city of the downtrodden. Why do I have sound? Oh. No? Oh, I, I had to sound. share the monitor. Those who dare to speak out. Oh, oh really? Hmm. Is that is that gonna be a problem? Those who dare to Crap. Hmm. Well, let me fix the sound issue, and then we'll might just I guess start I could over hear again. The sound on on your. No, screen, that's maybe. that's that's gonna be too, too messed up. Let me see if I can. If I can't hear the game, I was like, oh man. Yeah, that that's a problem. Um, let me try and fix it. I didn't even really consider this to be a possible problem. Well, if your game sound went over your over so the Discord, maybe. The... 
Oh, didn't you have? Didn't you turn that down at one point? Mm. No, I I have the game sounds. Uh, I mean the so I can hear the game. So on Discord, sound I, may not be available when sharing a screen on your device. Well, it feels really not. bad not being able to share the sound. Ah. Uh, mm. Sorry, I have to go through all these settings. Uh, I just want to experience the whole thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, of course. So, the fact that this game isn't, like, it's not considering it a game is, is really odd. And I'm not, I'm not seeing a way here to share the well, sound. Well, go ahead and force it, you know? It, see if it uh, allows it. How do I go about it? forcing it? Um... You you save or you share the uh, the Correct. device and see see if it does give us some. It said may oh, not. No, I don't. I don't even give. I don't get the option. What I what I was just explaining was the uh, what was all what we were already doing. Oh. Yeah. Uh, hmm. See, it Steve's not even recognizing a game as the is a problem here see it says sound well, may, not, your... be a, may yeah. not be available um that's hmm is it going to the stream you know the problem is you're not gonna you're not gonna get the full experience if it's on the stream um right hmm. i just don't understand why it's not recognizing the game. All right, hold on. Let me try something here. Oh, it is recognizing the game. It's just not recognize it when I'm tabbed out. I I can okay. do something about this. Um, sorry about the sound issues, guys. We'll 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 definitely add add time to the end for this. Okay, so game settings. All right, it remembered all that. So what I want to do here is turn full screen mode off. Except now I should be able to tab out and still have it. There it is. Yep, there it is. Go live. Fable 3. All right. Yes, I have some. Great, great. Okay, so we've got the annoying Fable 3 thing at the top, but, you know, love it's the, the price you pay. So so we'll far, have to rewatch the, the beginning of that cutscene, though. So be it. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. If you haven't noticed, the chicken is the mascot of Fable. They they go pretty heavy into it in all three of the games. There's some call it the age of oppression. When freedom is nothing but a dream. It's time to make a stand. To lead a rebellion. To be a hero. Welcome to the city of the downtrodden. <laughs> that child reminds me of an achievement I never got. Adopt a kid. Where those who dare to speak out are punished. And those who dare to hope find nothing to hope for. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't noticed, um, they've gone from, what, the, the 1400s to the 1700s? Yeah, they've gone from medieval times to the Industrial Revolution. Hmm. And we're a nice coddled prince. <laughs> I actually don't remember this part. 
<laughs> True rebels fight against all odds. <laughs> True rebels never give up. Yet they cannot Boom. alone. I wonder if they're gonna feed us that chicken in the beginning. The uprising has begun. I but see warlords really into it. The revolution. <laughs> You'll notice that this fable is very different from the first one. It's more of an open world game. Whereas Fable 1, it was like really closed off. You could see like everything on the map in each section. This one's more like a... Uh, Like a Saints Row open world kind of thing. Such a beautiful day to waste in bed, don't you agree? I love that guy's accent. Oh, go away, Jasper. Now that is hardly the response of a prince. I'm afraid it is time to rise. With your permission, I shall wake your sleeping companion. Oh, yes, everyone will love that. I trust you both slept well. You have a busy day ahead. Come on, boy. If I have to get up, so do you. It's not going to work. Don't look at me like that. Oh, very well. Good dog. What a pair. The kingdom is doomed. They introduced the dog in uh, Fable 2 as your mm. companion. Yes, me, perhaps we can find some appropriate clothing for today's activity. So, ironically, I imagine this is the good clothing and the Radio evil clothing. Um, I have never once worn this because it is freaking no ugly. <laughs> I have taken the liberty of arranging two suitable outfits, if you would care to choose. I actually usually never so change my outfit. By the lack of ostentatiousness in these clothes. I don't think um, outfits actually have um, defense value or anything like that. So I usually just take this one, I paint it red, and I, I usually just keep it the whole game. Mm -hmm. Ah, splendid choice. I'm sure Lady Elise will approve. Perhaps you ought to make your way to her now. We had an achievement progress. <laughs> Where's this achievement saved? <laughs> It's a pirated game in, uh, for for no platform, and you can't even get the game anymore. Where is this achievement progress saved? Yeah. In the game itself? I guess so. Does not appear that I can actually run fast to this, even by holding A. Can you do the roll thing? Or is that a different game? The roll is great, um, but I don't... No, I've never watched a speedrun or anything like that in this game. So I'm not really sure if rolling or anything's faster. I'm pretty sure rolling, you kind of have to have an enemy and then you like tap A to move away. But I think you actually have to have an enemy nearby. G2A, that's the, um, the Steam Key area. Or Steam Key place. Okay, hold on. Where am I supposed to go? There it is. Night. Have you come to protect me? I think I like her. <laughs> you big softy. You'd be rubbish in a fight, wouldn't you? <laughs> wouldn't you? I'll protect you, my lady. Hmm, I don't know. You don't look so tough either. Hmm, perhaps you can give me a demonstration of your abilities. Well, um... I don't think either option matters, but I'm pretty sure X is probably always the evil option. Ah. How's that? Oh, not bad, not bad. <laughs> I suppose you'll do. I thought you'd never get up. Did Jasper tell you I wanted to speak to you? Yes. Did something happen? I'm not sure, but 
everyone in the castle seems to be upset with your brother. More than usual. And it's even worse down in the city. You hear such terrible stories. Listen, they say a factory worker was executed this morning. I'm sure it's only a rumor, but you can imagine how people are talking. Staff in the castle are anxious. I told them you'd speak to them. Will you do that? I'm afraid of what might happen if someone doesn't calm things down. If you think it will help. I do. They may fear the king, but they still care for their prince. So, my good prince, will you take my hand and escort me to the castle? Everyone's waiting for you. I tried to angle myself so that way the um, text isn't being blocked by my face. Good. Now let's go. I can't believe your brother could have had a worker executed. But sometimes I think, well, that there's something wrong with him. He's changed um, so much. I think the, so the brother... The brother's design is really cool, in my opinion. I think. I told if I recall. He'll be there to support you. And I believe that the brother is the current king. I'm sure he'll want to continue with your instruction today. He seems obsessed with combat training lately. We'll see. Um. Welcome, your majesty. Such an honor to have you here today. Staff are convened to hear your words. Whenever you're ready. Oh, harsh speech. I don't know if I've ever heard that. To be honest, I don't remember a lot of the game, but uh, I definitely have never used harsh speech before. My brother might have. I may have seen him do it, but it'll be interesting. I'm sure you have much to tell us, Your Highness. You are all privileged to work in this castle, serving your country. You have standards to live up to, and I expect you to always do your best, no matter what the cost. <laughs> These may be difficult times, but I will not tolerate any unrest or the spreading of wild rumors. Now back to work. Well, that was quite a speech. I remember this guy's important. Very commanding. Your brother would be pleased. But remember, fear is not the only way to inspire loyalty. Right then, ready for today's training? Take good care of him, Walter. Mm -hmm. I suppose you've heard the rumors then. Well, I'm afraid they're quite true. Oh, he can catch up. Nice. That's interesting. In the meantime, the mood in the castle is getting more uneasy by the day. I can't say I quite agree with what you told the staff, but I must admit, a lot of people to see your brother today. Poor sods. So Walter. Oh boy. What a stroke of luck. This is probably going to be bad. So kind as to sign my petition. We must fight to eradicate poverty in Albion. Too many suffer on our streets and the king does nothing. He must be made to care. Oh, very well. Oh. I'm just an old soldier. I doubt my name would mean anything. But perhaps the prince here. Crap. Care to I think this life. decision oh, matters. That would be wonderful, your majesty. It would be the greatest honor. Okay, so I'm pretty sure when it comes to this decision, um, one of the cities, if I sign it, one of the cities becomes a lot more extravagant or like normal, and the house the house values are better. And I think if I insult him, that city becomes impoverished, and every house is worth basically nothing. Hmm. So I'm not really sure I want to click insult here because this is this is, this affects the amount of income I can make later. But I've also never seen the insult option, so I guess we're gonna have to go with it. I don't like signing things. How about this instead? I have definitely never seen that before. <laughs> No need for that. <laughs> <laughs> You're young. Your 
Oh yeah, I I realize the important <laughs> Look at what you've been missing out on. I know, right? There are so many funny things I missed out on. One day, the people of Albion are going to need you. I have to find out just how ready you are. All right. Grab a sword. So if I do remember anything about this game, I don't actually use the sword very much. Remember the stories I, told I think I typically use the gun. Of your father, the great hero king. You'd never get tired of hearing those stories. All right. And after each one, do you remember what you would say? Teach me how to be a hero. <laughs> Every single time. I wish that was something an old soldier like me could teach you. But I've done my best. Now I need you to do your best. Strike me. It's time you showed me what you've got. I know you have it in you. Do it. Ha <laughs> You only went and broke it. Look at that. Nah. Am I a great teacher or what? <laughs> but listen. There's something. Walter, you have to come quickly. Both of you. What's happened? Outside the castle. It looks like a demonstration. This is not good. I think it's a hanging. I think we get to finally meet the brother. They're right inside the castle grounds. I've never seen so many people out there. Balls. I should have known this would happen. I don't think they realize what your brother is capable of. This isn't going to end well. It's been a long time since Logan listened to me, but I should find him. Stay here. There's still something we need to talk about. We can't just stand here. I have a horrible feeling about hmm. this. We need to do something. Look, the guards have moved away from the stairs. We should follow Walter, find out what Logan's going to do. Let's go while we can. We have a choice. I don't know, but if we do, it's going to be interesting. Then let's get there before anyone sees us. Oh wait, I can run now. Sweet. The we'll show catch up to you. Yeah, that's a nice nice feature of this game. Quick. You can see them. Think about what you're doing I'm protecting the interests of the people. Do not question me again. You will shoot to kill. Start with the ringleaders, and if necessary, continue with the crowd. This is wrong. I really you like his goatee. Oh. <gasps> Never tell me what I can't do. Walter! We can't let him kill all those people. You're his brother. Maybe he'll listen to you. I wish I could grow up myself. But unfortunately, I can't grow hair in between... In between the, the beard and the, uh, the soul patch. What are you doing mm. here? The war room is no place for a child. Leave now. I'm here to stop you. You can't kill those people. No, wait. Enough! How dare you turn against me? Perhaps you believe you should be the one making these decisions. You really wish to defend those traitors. Then so be it. Let us see how you do. Take my brother and his friend to the throne room. Ooh. We shall settle this matter. Warlord first. says we're going to get a choice. Mm. Move. I'm going. There's a lot of um, side quests in this game. I'm all right. I'm all right. With bad options that I've never done. Happens, we'll so I'm excited. Keep walking. Here come the saviors of the people. Come closer, brother. Today you have disappointed me beyond measure. I have been betrayed by my own blood and a filthy spine. We did nothing wrong. Punishment must be apportioned where it belongs. Punish me then. 
You are no longer a child, and it is time I stopped treating you as one. You wish to save the traitors who had gathered outside the castle this morning very well. You shall have your chance. To oh save shit, them. we definitely get a choice yes, here. Stand, the leaders of the violent mob. I will give you a choice. Who will be punished? These strangers or this girl? The sentence will be what? death. No, this can't be. Oh. You are the prince. Decide. Uh, oh. Your Majesty, Logan, please. I am giving you power over life and death. No, I won't do this. If you can't choose, I will. I know the right Thank choice. Uh, uh. What are you willing to do? We're going to kill the whole village. This is madness. We can't. We just can't. Choose me. You can't let them all die. Choose me. There's only one decision you can make. Oh, yeah. It has to be me. Mm -hmm. Are you listening to me? Oh, the evil choice is to, to kill the people, obviously. But, um, I mean, it's always the kill the main character or kill the people I've never met. Whoa. Wait. What happens if I don't do it? They didn't do anything. It should be me. Should I just not do it? Kill those people. I want to see what happens. I've never done this. Okay. I've never done this before. What's gonna happen? You disappoint me. Take them all away. Oh no! It picked the good. It picked the good option. Ah! Oh wait, do they both die? Is that the super bad option? Escort my brother to his chambers now. Interesting. I'm not actually sure if she helps you at all the rest of the game, so. So they're both alive or both being killed? No he clue, but I can't remember, himself. can't imagine they're both alive. realize just how far he'd fallen into madness. I have to do something. I can't just stay here. You're not. We leave the castle tonight. This kingdom needs nothing less than a revolution. It needs a new leader. It needs a hero. It's time to see if you're ready. Ready for what? To be your father's son. I don't know, man. I will pack some essentials. No Those monarchies, they had the right idea. The firstborn, man. That's, that's what you're supposed to do, right? <laughs> we must leave now. Don't worry, sir. I shall follow you wherever fate may take us. I should have done something in the throne room. I should have stopped him. All you would have accomplished would have been your own death. Still, maybe I should have taken you away sooner. Oh, I feel like he's almost faster than me. There is something rather sinister about this garden at night. Where are we going? Uh. I thought we were leaving the castle. We are. But there's something we must do first. I'll get there first. <laughs> it's time we paid our respects to Albion's last hero. This might actually be in Fable 2. The catacombs. If there's a bunch of beetles. The night your father died, I promised him I would bring you here one day. When you were old enough. Hmm. And strong enough. This is your history. This is your legacy. The world has been too long without a hero. But I'm hoping that it will have one soon. This is your father's most treasured possession, the guild seal. It chooses those who have the looks power identical as the first game, right? Those who have the yeah. potential to become legends. Might be a little bluer. I can't remember if that was blue or, or brown or black or something.
I didn't think it was that big though. I think so too, uh, Warlord. And the timeline kind of makes sense as well. Who are you? I am Teresa, the seer of the Spire. I guided your father in his greatest triumph. But you have an even greater destiny ahead of you. The seal awoke at your touch, as it would recognize her. Else's. This means the fate of Albion rests on your shoulders. Before you lies the path you were born to take, and at its end is the kingdom you were born to rule. Like all heroes, you will face many trials, but you cannot pass through these gates alone. You will need to gather followers and gain the support of the people. For now, you have the support of two friends, Jasper, who will serve you always, and Sir Walter Beck, who will be your greatest ally. Together you have already taken the first step in your journey. Walk through the gate and claim your reward. Do you recognize her at all, Angel? No. That's a sister from the first game. Oh. She she looks exactly the same thing and does the, exactly the same thing in Fable 2. She helps you and whatnot. Oh, okay. What if I don't want the fireball spell? I don't think there's any choice. Yeah. Use it by the tomb in the mausoleum, and the way out of the castle will open for you. you will I think turn here Will is very different in this game. This gate. Now go. Walter and Jasper will follow wherever you lead. And we go around the gate, or have to go through them. Albion will do so too. Um. I I'm pretty sure you uh you can't go past the gate until you've completed a certain portion of the story oh. like you can't just grind and then then unlock everything do you do you feel any different I although I don't really think I you can grind Okay, so it is Fable 2 rules for spells. So basically there's five levels of damage based on how long you hold it. Okay. <laughs> what, a, what a cool thing to do. I lit that. Okay, so here's how the spells work. I hold B and the longer I hold it, the more powerful it gets. Um, let's go to three at least. Um, as you can see, it takes a really long ass time. It goes to five levels, but um, the higher I level up the skill, the faster it gets through through the levels. Supposed to do that. All right. Even if I am a hero, I'm huh. just one person. Exactly. That is why we need to find allies, and lots of them. Once you prove what you are, people will follow you, and many of them will be willing to fight. But they need a leader, someone to believe in. Albion needs nothing less than a revolution. So it looks like this game has 50 silver keys. One of the golden rules of Fable is if you're doing a challenge, such a, or like a story mission such as this one, always veer off the path whenever, whenever uh, you can, because there's usually a chest or a key or something, and odds are you're probably not going to revisit the area for a really long time. Ooh. Ooh. 
reboot targeting, like, uh... Seen the first proof of what you can do. Mm. You are the hero who can uh. lead this land in a revolution. That's a just beginning. So it wants us to go right, so we're gonna go left. A door, huh? So what do you use to open doors? Gold keys, okay. Um I actually don't remember gold keys. Mm. I don't remember how you earned them either. Might be something I need to look into. Off stream, of course. More bats. Get ready to cast some magic. Another impressive display. So as you can see, they've got rid of uh they got rid of individual types of XP, and now it's all just guild seals. <laughs> You'll get used to it. <laughs> you might want to cover your noses from here on. It's the Bowerstone sewers. Very well. Not a whole lot of stuff to find here. Say we must be somewhere beneath Bowerstone Industrial. Very likely. Not the safest place for us right now. But we should be able to find a way out of the city Nothing. once we okay. reach the surface. Oh. It appears to be a dead end. Not quite. What is <laughs> so this game has a weird is pause menu. You know? This is the pause menu. It is. Oh. It's your father's sanctuary. He used to speak of it, but I never thought it was a real place. Well, I don't believe it. Jasper, this book. There's a note with your name on it. Look. That's not possible. For Jasper? Well, I grant you it is possible, but it must be a coincidence. Oh, don't be a dolt. It's... The old king must have left it here for you. What's it's it definitely the most oh, unique gosh. pause menu in probably gaming history. Does it tell us how to get out? This really is most remarkable. Everything we could possibly want to know about heroes and this place is right here in these pictures. Because yeah. I guess you would call this an interactive pause menu, probably. This map functions as a traveling mechanism. Simply choose No, that's not the right word. Well, it should take you there. Marvelous. Right. We can use that. We'll have plenty of time to explore this place later. Right now. We have a rather large task ahead of us. But I don't even know where to start. Our first stop will be the mountains of Mispeak. There are people there who would make great allies. They won't offer their allegiance easily, but they despise Logan. And if anyone can persuade them, it's a hero. Very good. I will continue to become acquainted with this sanctuary. No doubt we will need to make full use of its facilities. Right, all right then. We'll find Miss Peak on the map and let's see if that book's telling us the truth. Now, that looks like the dweller camp in Mist Peak, just there. 
Select that as your destination, and you should be taken there. Just oh, look. It tells me how much of each thing is there. Oh, yeah, and this game's got uh, gnomes. Okay, so in Fable 2, they introduced something uh, else. Um, hmm, maybe it was 3. I can't remember. I, I can remember the gnomes, but I could have sworn Fable 2 had something just like gnomes, but they were more annoying. Oh, well, it eludes me at this point, but basically the gnomes, the way you find them is you walk around and you hear something insulting you. And then mm. when you start hearing the insults, you go around looking for them and you shoot them. <laughs> it worked. I've only gotten all of the gnomes once. Come on. The people here call themselves dwellers. They're tough. I want to grab my coffee. They're loyal. Grab it. And like I told you earlier, they hate Logan's guts. Yep. It may not look like much, but this is where the revolution begins. We this keep getting a whole bunch Logan of presents there. He's taken control of these mountains and started destroying its forests. I knew they'd have a hard time finding food, but I had no idea it was this bad. The man we need to convince is Sabine, a proud old sergeant, but a good man and a good leader. He won't give his allegiance easily, especially to a prince. Perhaps it's best if I speak to him alone first. You know, maybe you ought to find some new clothes while I talk to Sabine. Something slightly less princely. We don't need this kind of attention. I only have a little bit of gold, but it should be enough. And maybe you can spread what's left among the people. All I've eaten this week they need is it snow. more than we do. Where can I find clothes? Oh, don't worry. You'll find someone willing to take that money off you. Now, wish me good luck. This can't go on much longer. Buy more appropriate clothes. Yeah. Here to buy something. Really? Three hundred and one dollars for this piece of garbage. All right. Hello, sir. This is Jasper. Uh, hello. Is is this is this how you use? The... Uh, I am speaking to you through the guild seal. That's an extraordinary device. It would seem that as long as you carry the seal, we can communicate freely. Not only that. But you may return to the sanctuary any time you deem it necessary. It's all Might I suggest you do so now and try on your new outfit? All right. Ah, hello. Now, included in the sanctuary is a dressing room. Step through, and I'll show you. All right. I'm pretty sure we get all of this stuff because of uh, the the DLC <laughs> that the game came with. I actually did buy this DLC for um for PC or not PC for Xbox. I'll follow you into the dressing room, shall I? Speaking of, I don't actually think I got all the clockwork DLC. Laying out your clothes on these mannequins serve as convenient storage for There you are. You look just like a dweller. I hope this new outfit is as comfortable as your royal attire, though I suspect the chances of that are quite low. Now that you are properly attired, you should return to Sir Walker. It is time to meet this Sabine that we've heard so much about. So, I understand they like think they need to be warm and whatnot, but I mean, look look at everybody's arms; they're so exposed. Hmm. That's Hardly that right warm. Then. The scruffy look suits you. I spoken to Sabine, explained everything, and he's well. And have you ever worn fur clothes? You, mm -hmm. you They're not warm. nearly as warm as like leather. Or actually, I should take that back. Um, they're warm if you're like standing still, but they don't block the wind very well. 
and leather is really good at blocking the wind, but they're not very warm. These mountains have always been ours. Now Logan's taken them, and he's stripping them of all life. Oh, we're ready to go to war. But why should we follow Logan's kin? You can trust me. You have my word. <laughs> we don't take much stock in words around these parts. We're simple folk. Ain't that right, Boulder? Huh? Then what do you want? Proof. First, prove you are truly, as Walter claims, a hero. This is easily done. There's a secret chamber beneath the town of Brightwall, built by your own father. Only heroes can survive its trials and reach the relics within. Bring me one of these ancient objects and I will believe you. Second, prove you are a warrior worthy of leading us into battle. You can do this by slaying the mercenaries who plague Mist Peak Valley. You have long soured our existence. Third, prove you are a true leader. Persuade our neighbors in Brightwall to share what food they have with us. Balder. Oh. If we cannot eat, we will die, and the dead make poor allies. Is that all? Yep, that's the lot. Off you go then. Good luck. Nice knowing you. <laughs> Come on, boy. I really like the dog in that scene. I never really noticed. It's nice to see Sabine hasn't mellowed with age. Never anyway, noticed him talking with them. Or playing with them. Father built the chamber under the bright wall academy, Albion's greatest seat of learning. At least it was until Logan closed it down. Just show the old librarian your guild seal. You'll know what it means. I'll try to find out more about these mercenaries. I'll see you in Brightwall when I have some information. <laughs> okay. All right, yellow line. Show me where to go. Okay. Oh, uh, we're just going to follow Walter then, huh? All right. Hmm. It makes a nice change doing something useful. Boy, we're getting more gifts. Crimes committed zero. Yeah, I think that'll change. A lot of the gift stuff is actually just dog related stuff. Like, I should probably hmm. use some of it. Oh, I remember something being important about here. Like, I could jump down or something, but oh well. Maybe it was just a dig spot. Oh yeah, I actually don't have a weapon yet. You got your fire spell, huh? Yeah, that's about it. Wait, a dog just barked. Well, I don't think I have a, a spade now, do I? Apparently I have a spade before I have a sword. <laughs> okay. Can I use the spade as a sword, thanks? Uh oh. Another dog. Well, that wasn't very hard now, was it? Train dog. Dig spot, okay. I just figured if I have these dog books, I might as well start using them. I should probably go to the pause menu and look for some of the others, too. I think one of them is like a five-star dog, like, fighting or digging book, something like that. This chamber beneath Brightfall sounds intriguing. I dog suit. None other than heroes Dye pink. You must take Turquoise. You are inside. Yay, all the dye. I mean, I like the um, the red dye. Bunch of hairstyles. 
Boy, when they said it, I got all the DLC, they weren't kidding. I did. I don't even have all all this DLC. When someone has given you a gift. I will keep it for you here until you wish to unwrap it. So okay. So well, how do we look? Oh, yeah. I see. I was just curious. Um, how do I? Oh, I could change the dog type. What kind of dog <laughs> do you think is cool? So our current dog is the the collie. Setter. Excellent. I think I speak uh, when I say that. Alsatian. Yeah, that looks like a cat. Doberman. Doberman's pretty cool. Um, stupid poodle. Stupid pink poodle. Robot oh, man. Dog. I don't know. I think I'm going to go with Doberman. Dog. Doberman's the scariest one. All right. Personally, I like the pink poodle. Uh, let's see. Best bud. There we go. Oh, that is catchy. He's bound to enjoy being called that. All right. <clears throat> Whistle. Well, there's no more train option. And when we went back to the pause menu, ah, I didn't see any distinguishing stars here. Those. Would it be crazy to think he's already five star everything? Maybe one of the DLC Looks was like, like was like dog stuff, like including mm. all the dog books, which would be a major um, step up because the um, the dog helps you get a bunch of dig spots. The dog, uh, he fights downed enemies, but he doesn't necessarily fight upright enemies. Like if I'm, uh, let's say, using a sword and I use an unblockable attack and it knocks them on the ground. While they're on the ground, the dog will finish them off. At least that's as far as I remember. But well, what's pretty nice is I remember it takes a really long time to get like the dog five star book like at least halfway through the game or something and you can buy yeah. it from like a merchant. Ooh, that's something we never really got to do in Fable 1. Well, we already have yeah. a wedding ring. In theory, we could do what my brother did and get multiple wives in a single city and watch them duke it out. That's something we could probably do in one of our parts. You gotta find someone else to do the digging, you know? I felt like Xbox. What about the Xbox? I felt like it. You know, oh. the way it paused and stuff like that. You know. Really? Dog, are you telling me there is no dig spot here? This spot just seems so... Dig spot. <laughs> it's just all on its own. A nice big circle. I think there's enemies right here. Or not. Well, there will be assassins there at some point in the game. I swear mm. there were. I see you're approaching Brightwall, a most charming little hamlet. And a perfect opportunity to acquaint yourself with the fine, honest people of this kingdom. Far from the bustle of the city and the factory smoke. Of course, a less charitable mind would term them simpletons. But I encourage you to shop at their stores, drink at their taverns, and otherwise partake in their small town pleasures. If I recall correctly, uh, we spent a lot of time in Brightwall. What? You mean 
most like uh, a whole bunch of side quests are, like all all in bright wall oh. can we rename it no but uh if i recall correctly one of the side quests is really funny it's it's like a D and D game where we're the character and it there's a lot of chicken related stuff closed by order of the king we don't serve drinks we don't sell chicken feed please leave before the soldiers suspect you of gaining any real knowledge <clears throat> sweet papyrus i am a real visitor i i'm afraid i was speaking the truth king logan has closed the academy i'm little more than a custodian these days <sighs> You shall do what I say. <laughs> I haven't seen it since the old hero King last came here. Oh, then you are the prince. Yes. Oh my! Uh, please come this way. Your father told me that one day a challenger bearing the seal would come seeking entrance to the reliquary, but I never imagined it would happen in my lifetime. It was he who founded the Academy, of course. I have often wondered how you would react to see it in its present state. I mean, there's a lot of books. It doesn't look that bad. I can't tell you how many of our researchers and professors have studied this door, hoping to unlock its mechanism. But I knew there was only one thing that would ever open it. Yep, the guild seal. I think there's a silver key down here. Oh, wait, is there lit candles in here? I mean, What's those lit candles. Oh, yeah, that is funny. How would they be lit if no one's been down here for many, many years? Magic, that's how. Oh, wait, I can actually search these? Nice. Two bucks. Totally worth it. Three bucks. The light can get mad at you. See, Wait. it's mad at you already. Wait, I can open that? One key. Wow. Combat 2. Alright, let's see if we can use it on the dog now. Nope. Dog must already be at 5. Boy, we're getting so... So much money from this bookcase, these bookcases. Honestly, they might not even be worth checking. Who sticks money in a bookcase? Oh well, on to the next area. I could have sworn there were enemies or something there. I think this area, it either had a gold key door or a gold key somewhere. I think it was the door. We're going off the beaten path. And then back on it. That little light's going to be pissed off. You're not following it. <laughs> yeah, well, it'll just have to learn. <clears throat> the true way of the hero is to, is to abandon the path. Ah, hello, yeah. here, again. I believe that here it is. is what the gold door. However, on the subject of amazing things, you will not believe what I have just found in the sanctuary. You should come a back key? as soon as you possibly can. Well, I would assume a sword. This sanctuary contains an armory, 
within which there are some truly remarkable weapons, heroic weapons, which your father left for you. This way, please. Well, I wonder if there was a DLC that included weapons. Now, admittedly, these weapons don't appear particularly impressive yet. However, according to the book, they actually change as you use them, becoming more deadly oh, yeah. and developing fantastic properties. They are living weapons, and the way in which you fight with them determines how they evolve. That sword is certain to cut a swathe through your foes, and depending on whom you kill and how, it will grow ever more powerful. Well, what other choices do you have? Weapon, you should return to the chambers underneath Brightwall Academy. Uh, none. What if really? I want one of these? Honestly, they look the same. I want that one because it's longer. I would have used the hammer. The hammer is just too slow. Yeah, but it does a lot more damage. It was 10 versus 14. Really? Yeah. Four more points? I mean, it is 40% more damage, but... In the end, it doesn't matter. The gun is what matters. Ah. Uh. Yeah, a hammer would really work against uh, skeletons a lot better than a sword. Well, if you were going to use a weapon. Yeah, it doesn't really matter because I'm not even going to use the sword. The bigger question, am I going to use a, a flintlock rifle or am I going to use a flintlock pistol? Or not, not flintlock. Um, the flintlock is the pistol. The Winchester is like a rifle, right? Oh. Uh, from behind your shoulder. So far we haven't been hit. Can I? Nope. Always got a double chip. Dig spot. Is there even dirt here? <laughs> How do I dig without dirt? Oh, well, there's some dirt. I bet it's right there. Well, who would have saw that coming? Find? Probably more money. Yeah, we haven't gotten anything other than money yet. Oh wait, we got a health potion. Oh, here's a door. Wait, I remember this. Whoops. So, well, I mean, I remember this spot. I don't remember anything about it. Yay. Yeah, that's why I remember this spot, because it was locked. It's easy to remember doors that you can't get through. Uh, we went that way, so, all right. Oh yeah, got a, it's like a quiz or maze kind of thing. Although, I'm not sure the pieces go away. I think they just spawn enemies whenever you go over an area that has the, uh, the wisps. Mm. Like, this way doesn't have a wisp. Oh, I can't go this way? That's a bummer. Really, dog? You're saying there's a treasure chest? Where? Military gloves, okay. 
Um, well, I'm gonna try and get to that treasure chest. I don't care if there's enemies or not. You shoot the wisp. <laughs> Don't think I'll ever use that. Alright. Uh, okay, we have one choice. You chose wisely. Wait. And we got the chest. <laughs> Was it worth it? You won the game. Never used one of those. I'm not really the kind of guy who uses items. I use healing items every once in a while. There we go. Oh, that was interesting. Oh, crap. Oh, I got greedy. I wanted to go for a, a two or a three hit. Or a level two or three spell. Aw, how cool would it be if he could burn up the spider web? <laughs> that was interesting. Yeah, he did jump. Well, I guess there's no com coming back from this. Alright, this island, this island just screams dig spot. Come on, dog. Where are you? There he is. Tell me there's a dig spot, please. Yeah, that's right. I know. I know how you work, devs. You don't just put a mysterious little island at the bottom of a pool if there isn't a dig spot. Silver bowl? Uh, give this... Er... Eh. As you develop relationships with people, they will ask for items such as this one. Give it to them to advance a relationship. Are you telling okay. me I Oh, yeah, you didn't get to see me woo people in the other game. So, basically, wooing somebody was basically, like, um, do the hero pose. <laughs> like, fart. You know, is it just do just do stuff that made them happy. Boom. Then they want to be married after, like, ten times. I guess they made it so it takes more effort in this game. I haven't seen really any choices, though. Well, we saw a couple, but... Oh, there's plenty of choices later. We could basically choose to be, like, the best hero, or we could be exactly like our brother. Obviously, I've never chosen to be exactly like my brother. Later in the game, there's this there's this part where um, you, you're saving up money, and uh, you got so many choices on like um, something good happening in the city, or you could take the money and have that area become like gar like trash. Um, obviously, I have always done the good option. And then had to raise the money myself. So it's very interesting to see what happens when I do the bad options to just take the money. Because I'll have the money already. Because mm. I plan on AFKing to get the money. Build up uh, real estate.
Oh. Okay. What's down here? Uh, area we've already been. Okay. It looked dirt. Where? Oh. I got hit. I don't even see where my health is. Boy, at the end of this cavern, we might have enough money to buy one house. That did. Boy, I really hope I get that pistol soon. Oh, okay. So I guess we go back onto this path over here. Up those stairs and see where that goes. Sometimes it pays to go off the beaten path. Silver key. There we go. Oh, I thought I could have uncovered that tomb or something. Alright, time to go back to the path. I'd say we're making pretty good progress. We're only an hour in, mm -hmm. and I feel like we've gotten a lot done. Or, well, a lot watched. Ah, hello. Yes, you'll recall that I mentioned that flit switches require a knock from a melee weapon. Well, it seems that mm. was only partially correct. 
According to the book, only blue switches require melee weapons. The red variety requires magic. And to activate yellow switches, you must shoot them with a firearm. Fortunately, that section of the book also indicated where some firearms were located. And these weapons, well, they must be seen to be the least. Please return to the sanctuary as soon as you can. Ah, so the weapons in question were also left for you by your father. Ooh. They are in the armory. Like the sword and hammer, these astonishing weapons evolve over time as you use them. 10, 14, ever more 17. They can cause more damage and achieve other incredible effects. The rifle is the perfect instrument for engaging enemies at long range. But the pistol just shoots faster. It shoots faster, it holds more bullets. The pistol, excellent choice. You are in an enclosed space at the moment, after all. I'll keep the rifle here in case you change your mind. In the meantime, experiment and see what incredible properties are waiting to be unlocked. Now, this is almost, oh, it's 70% it's more damage, plus this one has upgrades. Um, I'm not really sure how the upgrades work. Um... Oh, you get it up. You upgrade it by doing stuff. Okay, decrease your moral standing. Sixteen damage. I would think you'd be keen Kill five people who love you. Okay. Drag eight villagers to work. I don't think I've ever done that. So let's see. Do the other ones say anything like that? No. So they're just like base damage. So that's something to work on later. Oops. Oh, I didn't did not let me spit spin. It also had a hold a hold button damage move. I have to get used to it a little bit. You can't spin. Well, I can't tell when you can't spin. It seems sort of random. Or roll, not spin. Oh, crap. Twenty-four guild seals. That feels like a good number, but I know we've only faced the amount of enemies the game wants us to face, so it's probably not a lot. All right, dog, take us. <laughs> take take us to the dig spot. Boy, we're getting a lot of these. I wonder if I should sell them. Hmm. Okay, so that that's a little trick. Oh. 
trick I found out in the, the previous... Oh. Hmm. Well, maybe I need to perfect it before I call it a trick. Hmm. Okay, so... If you spin before he reloads... Or... Roll before he reloads... You can roll, but if he starts to reload, he can't exactly roll. Oh, yeah, here's another Fable 2 reference. Which makes me believe, yeah, the um, the hero from Fable 2 must be this guy's father. Because if this is the hero's um, prized possession, then yeah, it's obviously the Fable 2 hero. This is what starts it all. Congratulations, hero. Touching the guild seal was an indication of what you could become. Reaching the music box has proven what you already are. No one but a hero could have done it. You have begun to learn what powers you possess, and there is still greater potential within you. But you have only taken the first step in your journey. Albion is crying out for a revolution, and for someone to lead it. Whoa. Winning supporters to your cause will be hard. We have 77 even guild seals Logan now. Will be an even greater challenge, but it's one you must accomplish. I'll make him pay for what he did. This is not a matter of personal vengeance. As long as your brother sits on the throne, Albion is in <sighs> great danger. Open the music box. It will show you the truth. This is my Albion. Its cities will bow to my law, or they will burn. Its mountains will bend to my will, or they will fall. This is my Albion. Its people will do as I say, or they will die. Its future will be as I decree, or it will end. I've seen what must be done, and nothing will stand in my way. We will be greater, and we will be stronger, no matter what sacrifices we must make. This is my Albion, and I will see it destroyed before I surrender it. Well, that gives you a hint just how, uh, how many people we're going to have to get. If any part of you still doubted the necessity of a revolution, you have your answer. The kingdom will face its own annihilation under your brother's rule. Now, do whatever you must to gain your first ally, for you cannot lead a rebellion without followers. Sabine is a good man, and his people are strong. Aw, oh, man. So, our, our body goes up on that statue as soon as I open the door. I really don't like this, this uniform that I'm wearing. But oh well. That's there forever. Anyways, let's see. We got die pack. Don't care about that. Friend pack. Don't care about that. Uh, yes, we want that. Uh, more with melee, don't necessarily need that. More with ranged, we will consider that. Magic, considered. 
shock. Hmm. Definitely what? something. Shock uh, instead of fire. I'm kind of curious if I, which is better. I mostly just use range. I want to go ahead and just save our guild seals for the next section. Where you get limited in number? You've amassed enough no, but houses are excellent investments. Besides, you'll need somewhere to live if you meet that special someone. <laughs> Blessed in those cards. You made it. This is cause for great rejoicing. Albion has a hero again. If ever I can be of assistance, I will be honored to serve you. I knew you would succeed, sir. You now have proof positive of your heroic status. And I believe Walter has made some progress with the mercenary problem. He is waiting for you outside the local tavern. Hey, Lost B. Welcome to the stream. How curious that Sir Walter oh, nice. I think he still got mod status. I do hope Never. he's finding some way of occupying his time while he waits for you. Oh, well, looks like we have a um, the armory is gun we could probably just go ahead and grab. 22, 30. Just take a look. Kill 300 human enemies, get money. Okay. Earn 10,000 from jobs, which I'll do off stream. Uh, decrease your moral standing. I mean, the we can literally get all three of these. So let's go ahead and take that. All right. And let's go ahead and change our uniform while we're here. These new gloves would look supremely handsome, gripping the hilt of a finely polished sword. Which reminds me, where have I left the sword? Oh, look at that headpiece. That's... Uh, how do I take the headpiece off? Uh... Oh, undress. Got it. Alright, let's see. I have some dyes. We've got black, cream, hot pink, and turquoise. What do you think we should pick? Well, can we change our dog? Why do you want to change it? <laughs> a hot pink and a pink dog? No. I mean, I don't mind changing our... Our color to pink if that's what you want we got black cream hot pink and uh, turquoise. i'm a black guy all right black it is i'm a i'm a red guy but we don't have that's red so splendid. let's go ahead and save this too you could use these mannequins to store your current look in order to easily select it later i forget what the other rooms do actually any other business to attend? Um, I'm just kind of curious. Guild seal. That artifact held incredible personal significance. Ah, yes. This is our wealth room. When we get rich enough, we can go up there and get... I think that's a gold key? I can't remember, but I think that's like $5 million. Oh, I guess we can't open this. It's just a plaque. Here in a sort of golden heap. Oh, and an achievement uh, hall. Well, we knew they were recorded somewhere. Well, All right. Book of Heroes takes a decidedly surreal I don't remember this room. this room. It claims that there are other parallel worlds and even other heroes. You can communicate with them and even travel to their worlds. Uh... Interesting. If there's anything Statistics, you specifically remember about friends, it's all partnerships. I actually remember playing this game with another person. 
Speaking of, I wonder if we could technically play together, but oh well, it's too late. You want to be able um, to see other oh, you know what? I bet you they probably disabled online support for this game. Uh, hmm. Orb visibility. You know what? If you're unsatisfied, Everyone. You see, if people are playing, we'll, we'll know. You can make changes here. So orbs, uh, if we see like a, a circle that's just walking around, that's somebody else playing the game. I highly, highly doubt we'll see anybody because this game is like 10 years old and it might have online access, you know, removed. So. Mm. And usually if you have a pirated version, it doesn't have. Oh, exactly. yeah, yeah, exactly. Pirated versions don't have online access. Duh. Okay, so this, I think, is what we're going to be doing. Um, all right, if I remember the jobs. Um, pie maker. When I grew up, I was going to be a loot. I'm pretty sure loot hero was the easiest job. But this is basically what I'm going to do offline. Mm. I'll just do it a few times. Always look out for sales. You never know when I'll put one on. <laughs> Basically, Guitar Hero. Got eight bucks, so this next one should be, I think, 16. The only problem I had with this is, um, the X on the Xbox, the yellow and the green aren't all that distinguishably different plus my color blindness made it a little bit more difficult but this this mm. was still the mini game to play I'm just curious how far I get before I make a mistake yeah this is this is much faster than fable 2's earn money and easier they haven't even added the third color yet hmm. who knows I might get to the max multiplier it might be 15 Okay, that's actually starting to get a little bit hard. Oh, it looks like 10 is the maximum multiplier. Hmm. I'm sure I'll make a mistake eventually. Boy, I thought this would actually be harder. I'm sure once they add the third color, it will be. But for now, I think it's, I think it's just a level one. Um, they probably add it. Yeah. Uh, loot here, level one. Yeah. What is this one? Also, loot here, level one. I'm curious if it go, if it gets higher, like if it upgrades, like in Fable um, Two, it said like. Earn 15,000 more gold to upgrade level. But it appear I don't see that here. Regardless, I think we might have earned enough money to buy, like, a high stand or something. Let's see. I only give special discounts to people I really like. Entrepreneur pack. Oh, so I only bought the one where I can get houses then huh okay you were successful then bloody marvelous you'll be glad to know i have some information on the mercenaries sabine mentioned oh look a demon door a man called saker he used to be a soldier but always had more in common with bandits and cutthroats than the military his men are holed up in a small fortress in the mountains so it won't be easy to get in <sighs> Doesn't that sound familiar? 
the first first major enemy is a uh, a guy who used to be good became evil. Uh, like like Twin Blade. One of the mercenaries, a cold bloody killer. His name's Clarence, but everybody calls him Jimmy. He was drinking in the pub all day and generally making life unpleasant for everyone. It wasn't hard to get him completely pickled. <coughs> These young guys. <coughs> bloody lightweights, if you ask me. Anyway, take his clothes and you'll have a free pass into their camp. Just try not to think about what those stains might be. <laughs> hmm. You're not likely to convince anyone without a bit of extra effort. Even these idiots will notice if you don't have his beard or tattoo. Oh, look, it keeps our black dye. I'm sure you can get hold of what you need around town, though. In the meantime, I'll find out who to talk to about getting hmm. food to the dwellers. They might not have much to spare here, but they're kind people. They'll just need a little convincing. Anyway, good luck dealing with Saker and his mercenaries. It'll be your first taste of real battle. But I know you'll do just fine. I could have sworn there was something up you here. You have earned enough gold to purchase the rather repulsive items you require to complete your mercenary disguise. A most impressive feat for a member of the royal family. Of course, should you have acquired a taste for labor, you may continue working for as long as you wish. Thanks very much. Oh, um. Oh, that makes it real easy. With my famous beards. Yeah, it may be expensive, but it's worth every ounce of gold. Boy, that used up almost all of our money. It appears you have all the required ingredients for your dis. Let's adjourn to the oh, I was thinking he'd guard. he'd continue talking. The appropriate facial hair adorns the bust before you. <laughs> ah, yes, very mercenary indeed. You'll fit right in with those brutes. Now then, you better be off to deal with Saker, hadn't you? I feel like it was going to make us do the job, because I don't think we're going to have enough money, despite uh, doing all those dig spots and whatnot. Come on, dog. Find that dig spot. Ruby. Oh, uh, nowhere near the amount of money we need. Okay. Uh, what do you? Nothing. All right. Hey, Shadow. I've got the best stuff you ever seen at the best prices too. There's probably a fast travel that might be faster than running. But we've already committed. Oh, don't tell me there's a dig spot up here, dog. Remember when I <laughs> scolded you for, for saying that there was no dig spot? Oh. Dig spots are only convenient when the dog wants it. Boy, the um, loading speed, or yeah, loading speeds are so much better in this game than it was on the Xbox. Holy crap! 
I could have <laughs> sworn you only, like, it didn't have three shots at once. I thought it was just like the pistol, but the pistol gave you more shots. Interesting. Interesting. The Auroran left tattoo. The Aurorans aren't going to be around for a really long time. But then again, that's probably one of those things where you need a five-star dog to dig it up. So by the time you do unlock the Auroran area, you will probably just be unlocking the five-star dog around then. What are you looking at, Shadow? <laughs> but as you can see, it's going to be a lot more difficult to find things when the world is so big. I don't think this game actually attempts to do the economy or it does it better than Fable 1, so I don't think there's a money glitch or anything. Just good old fashioned real estate. Hi, Jimmy. Back from killing some dwellers. Come on in. Sometimes wish I'd join me dad with a family business. Hey, Jimmy, over here. <laughs> Jimmy, over here, mate. Jimmy, show stilts here that thing you do, you know, the thing. What thing? The thing? I don't know a thing. <laughs> Don't get too close. Damn thing's probably got rabies or something. What are we gonna call him? <laughs> How about Gilbert? After that fella what stiffed us on last job. It'll make it more fun to kill him. Doesn't Wolfie like his cage? Wolfie, I told you. Gilbert. It just doesn't look like a Gilbert to me. I'm sure I'll get to kill all these guys soon. Alright, Jim, how's things? You been drinking in Brightwall again? Now don't let anybody tell you drinking alone is wrong. That's some of the best times I've had. Anyway, in you go then, mate. He's right. Don't let anybody ever tell you going out to eat or drinking alone is is bad. Take that turd for bro I don't do it often, but I I do do it. It's Jimmy, that really you? You look different to <laughs> I guess I hit an explosive barrel. Oh. Not exactly what I wanted to do there. I just imagine there's like a chest or something in this area. Yeah, there's one. Oh. Oh boy. If I wanted the right arm tattoo, boy, now I got the left. Hmm. No other chests in the area. Do I have to go the right way? 
And Doug says there's a dig spot. All right. Hey, Polar Lights! Really long time no see, man. Wow. Yeah, I am alive. And uh, you can catch most of my... I'm streaming consistently again. Um, I believe this has been about one month I've been streaming. But I've been playing all ga kinds of games, not just... Uh, not really magic anymore. No, it's all good, man. Um, I don't even remember you disappearing. Um, but yeah, I... Oh, let's see. I, I, I stream the same time every week. I've got it posted on the channel. Um, I post all the, the videos to YouTube afterwards. Although, so far, every video, every part one video that I've posted has, um, not successfully been posted. Um, let's see, for Pokemon TCG, um, Fable 1, and, uh, and Bioshock, I was too late to post the video to YouTube, and, uh, for Lord of the Rings, uh, The Third Age, apparently most of the, um, videos were copyrighted, so YouTube deleted it, but, uh, I think... Bioshock 2 and and Fable 3 will be our first part ones. So yeah, I mean, if you want to check them out, I'm pretty sure the YouTube channel is still linked. Or you can just catch us live, you know that works too. Um, as you can probably tell, we've got nowhere near the viewer base I once did, but I, that's expected after taking a year off. Just glad to be back. Gonna be going at my own pace. Um, not really sure if playing the um, playing different games is gonna be good or not. But um, it it makes it better for me to play different games because I was just I was just burnt out in Magic. I played I had played Magic for a year and a half or two years at that point, and it's just it was getting real old. Plus. To ferry the time raveler or whatever he was was just ruining the game. Leave him. He's mine. Yeah, I took a one year a one year hiatus. You're not one of Sabine's dwellers, that's for damn sure. But you'll die like one. Ooh. Yeah, I'm just, I'm glad I'm getting to play some other games, you know? I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to always play one game that's kind of like Magic. Um, I was playing Pokemon TCG for Game Boy Color. Um, unfortunately I beat it in two parts, which was very surprising. I didn't honestly think I'd be that good. But um, then I switched to Lord of the Rings, uh, The Third Age, which is a taking turns RPG game. So it's still still doing the taking turns aspect. But I'm, I'm trying to do two, two adventure games and one, one taking turn RPG game. I still don't know what I'm going to play after Lord of the Rings, The Third Age, but we'll think about it. Well... It, 
RPG is just such a broad topic. I, I want to say it's like taking turns RPG is probably the what it's called or something strategy RPG. Oh my god. Where I don't know where my health is displayed in this game. You're gonna be one of the living dead. Turn based, yeah, turn based RPG. But I wanna try and always play one turn based RPG or something something along the lines of strategy based. I don't wanna just all be or I don't wanna just entirely play one genre. Uh, let's see. I made a list of- Oh, I know the other one. Alright, so I made a list of games here that I was considering. Um, Baldur's Gate. Um, Fellowship of the Ring. Harry Potter for Game Boy Advance, which is a turn-based RPG. Um, Paper Mario. Um, for... All the consoles, really. Um, Mario Baseball, Spyro. We may be nothing but mercenaries. So yeah, Harry Potter GBA or Paper Mario. That is a warrior's promise. Or I think Harry Potter GBA. It, um, I think it's only the Prisoner of Azkaban. I don't think I've ever. Like, I don't think I've ever picked this before. That didn't exactly go through the middle of his head, now did it? Interesting. Basically the same outcome Twinblade had. Hmm. You have taken another step on the road to rule. Defeating Saker has won over many of the people he terrorized. Word is already spreading of your victory. I also, I'm also considering some, I, I think I've also mentioned that I wanted to play, um, hold on. Um, family, no. Blacks, oh, so this is how you upgrade your job. Okay. Well, loot is the easier one to do for me. Oh, nice chair. No, it's a blanket on top of a chair. I've still got my my uh, secret labs chair. It's just I I'm in a basement and it's cold right now. So having a blanket makes things a little bit easier for me. Um, let's see, melee ranged. Okay. Anyways, back to what I was gonna. I forget what I was saying. Um, oh yeah, so I wanted to play linear games if I, if you haven't noticed I'm playing games that have a strict beginning to end, but I am, I am considering playing some games that aren't necessarily linear, like, um, uh, like Fallout or Skyrim, but I want to play the linear part of the game. Like, I'll play the campaign and maybe a few side quests, but I'll play just that. So yeah. Ooh, vaping, yeah. Uh, my brother vapes. I don't smoke whatsoever in any, any fashion. It is a momentous occasion. Your first victory in battle. I'm no expert on personal combat, but I would say, based on the fact that you're not dead, you acquitted yourself rather well. It's hard to believe that just a few days ago I was rousing you from a comfortable bed. It would seem that you have completed two of the tasks that Sabine set for you. If you return to Brighton, you will find Sir Walter has some news on how to fulfill the last requirement. It's not necessarily that it, that it's bad for you is why I haven't done it. It's more of the fear of the addiction. Because I, like, you know, gas stations and whatnot, I'm around, you're, you're around smokers. And uh, I could tell that I... I I kind of like the way smoking smells, or at least a little bit. So, I want to stay clear from smoking because I know I would absolutely get addicted. Seems to have become rather attached to the place. Oh, now I don't need to wear this ridiculous outfit anymore. 
You have some new pieces of clothing. Ah, I like that one myself. I don't remember if the quick change does tattoos and and oh well it it probably does do tattoos and uh and facial hair because I'm not with the beard anymore. Oh, well, I'm I'm very aware of the way it smells. I've seen my brother have like cotton candy and bubble gum and whatnot. Probably not something I want to be near. Right, anyways, bright wall. Yes. Give hard cash for your unwanted goods on the spot. Anyways, uh, looks like he wants to meet us back at the bar. Ah, uh, yes, these. Ah, here he is. We were just talking about you. Indeed, we have made a toast to your stupendous feat in ridding Miss Peak. Hopefully, you guys start catching the streams again. I'm glad, glad to be able to talk to some people. I knew it would take a while before some of my older viewers caught up. Um, Warlord, he usually sticks around at the start of the stream. I'm always here. Yeah, and Angel will probably be playing some games with him um, in probably three to four months or whatever when he gets his new computer. Brightwall has no overabundance of Although it's not out of the realm of possibility, we could, um, when I finish a game, we could play Saints Row, but we'd have to start back from the beginning again. I don't know if you want to do that. Funny. And funny. Also charitable. I'm sure they would find it in their hearts to send aid to those poor people. There you have it. Like in theory, Angel, I don't know. I'm sure your current laptop can 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 support it, right? Like you played Saints Row Three on your laptop. Yeah. We could in theory start. We could in theory start from Saints Row One, go to Two, and then Three. Then by the time Three comes along, you'll you'll understand all the references. But that's up to you. Ah, uh, return to the sanctuary. The book says there is an additional, rather amazing capability about the Sanctuary's map table. It can help you find people who are in need of a hero. An excellent way to gain followers is by helping villagers in need. Take a closer look at Brightwall and I will explain more. You can now see the villagers in need. You can also see how many followers you must amass to impress Samuel and the people of Brightwall. Select a villager to help. By doing so, you will gain the respect and loyalty of others in the region. Uh, I don't think that's the... F so, they, um, they try to go off the rails with being funny in this game. Choose whom you wish to assist. Some of them are actually funny, and a lot of them are not. But I guess we'll just go ahead. Oh, it depends ahead. on your type of humor, right? Well, see, in the first game, when the game was funny, it was it was mostly always funny. Um, in this game, they try going overboard on the funny. Like, they try to make almost every mission funny. <laughs> sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. Your Holy crap, man. I've never used any of this stuff before. It's all DLC that, um, the version of the game I downloaded came with. Oh my god. You know, I'm realizing there's... I wonder if I, if I had spent money, I might have maxed out the achievements on this game for the Xbox. Is at your disposal. Obviously, a kid Practical wasn't going to spend money, but. 39, 39. Okay. And 35. This one seems really familiar to me. Like, I, I feel like I recognize this one. Why? Uh, shock spell damage. Make villagers love you super easy. 
12,000. That might be a reason why, because it was super easy to get all of these done. But I have to unlock the shock spell to do that. Um, let's take a look at some of the other ones. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Hey, Polar Lights. Special my friend Garden. Amazon Twitch on a hot cosplayer who plays Genshin Impact. But here we go again. Thank you very much, uh, there, Polar Lights. I appreciate it. Welcome back to the channel. I don't know if I already had mentioned that. It, I, it, I, I can't express how much it means to have uh, people returning back to the channel. Like you and Warlord were were some of the, the best. I think there may be um, some of our more active users and and lost be it, it's great um being able to have one of our mods show up and uh a knight and angel i never lost touch with so they're always they were always around oh but man it's gonna be fun playing these games very fun uh let's see 300 human oh so this is the one we've been using um decrease moral standing very close already Glad to see all the fellow dirty peons. Yeah, well, hopefully, hopefully you guys are gonna show up around. Uh, I've also been wondering if I should start the stream an hour earlier because I started at seven because uh, I thought that a knight would be joining in the call just like Angel is, but he isn't. So I mean, nothing stopping me from starting at six, and I know a lot of um, you guys are on European time, so. This is, like, super late for you. So, I mean, an, an extra hour early is probably not going to make much of a difference. But, you know, every little bit helps. Uh, let's with see. A rifle, a Kill 50 enemies with flourishes. That one's super easy. Oh, Cali time? Well, that's that's pretty easy then. Uh, 100 near Aurora. That's, like, really far off. Um... The mercenary shooting range. So the thing about this one is, I think the weapon you get from like the max amount of points, the mercenary shooting range is like the best gun. It shoots like, like eight shots. I'm pretty sure it's called the dragon. And it is like, it is crazy. It's like boom, 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 boom. And, it, and not to mention it's like strong, like such high damage. Like once you get the dragon, you never want to get rid of it again. Anyways, it looks like we don't necessarily need another another weapon here. Um, any of any melee weapons? 10, 16s, 19, 20, 17, 16. This one. Uh, moral standing. Definitely can use that. Knight. And yeah, the drag villagers to work is kind of hard. Wait, can you get... Okay, I'm not sure if you can get multiple versions of the same weapon in this game. I feel like you can make yourself fatter. That sucks. Uh, no, thank you. Villagers love you. Increase moral standing. Okay, so not much I'm really going to be able to do about that. I'm going to go ahead and take this one just for damage. And... Oh, yeah, and the fire. Yeah, we're good here. A gauntlet, a device Wait. Which allows a hero to channel magical oh, yeah, there's five stars. Yep, makes sense. Anyways, to the quest. Visit your new home? I didn't realize I had a home. Oh, the, the fat quest. We just finished Fable uh, 1, and... The fat demon door was like the last thing I did. I was really adamant against it, but as we had just beat the game and weren't going to play it anymore, you know, it's we that's something we did. All right, hold on a second here. Where is our All right. Mist Peak. That's not where I want to go, is it? It says I want to go there. Oh, that's the main quest. Okay. Um.
we have to get the um, the guild seals in order to go further. Dig spot, you say, dog? Okay. I don't remember how good the fast travel was in this game, but it's, if it says I have a home, I want to check. It might have given us one of these homes like on the random ass spot on the side of the road. I don't know. I just, I don't like having a fat character. It just seems weird to me. And generally only like the demon door is the only thing standing between you and being fat. Other than that, I mean, just playing, the, playing alone makes you skinnier. Oh, Hey, normally I'd probably just skip these guys, but we need the we need the guild seals, and also we need uh, human type enemies kills for our gun. I think. So something to work toward. Hmm. Don't, necess don't necessarily know where we're going, but it almost feels like we're heading toward Miss Peak, which we could have just fast traveled to. I guess we're just kind of learning. Learning if fast traveling is to be trusted or not. I know Fable is pretty... Um, not necessarily the best when it comes to fast traveling to a waypoint and taking you to the closest spot available, or at least that's how my memory recalls it. So we'll see. I'm hoping it takes us to a place that we couldn't, could have already have been to. Dig spot. All right. Yeah, I'm not too big into outfits. Generally, I like outfit. I like outfits when it's like armor or something, when it gives you statistics. But I think this game, none of the outfits give you any sort of strength or or defense or whatever over other outfits. Okay, so I don't think we've been to this Hunter's Lodge, actually. So, so far, we can still trust the fast travel. So this is my home, huh? Hmm. Doesn't appear I can rent it out. Hmm. Renting out a house you own is a fantastic way to make money. Real estate is always in demand. Or I can. Hmm. This might be a DLC now that I think about it. Because I don't recognize this house. Oh, yeah, I don't know if it gave me an option to name myself other than player one. Let's see, am I able to rent it out? Nope. So he tells me about renting it out, and then we can't. Hmm. Way to be helpful, Jasper. I think there's also a sleep bonus Maybe in this game. One. So let's go ahead and oh yeah, they have a sex option in this game, and you could choose protected or unprotected. It's kind of funny. Basically, you could choose if you want to make a baby or not. Unlike real life, it happens first try. I think. Hmm. Actually, I'm like fairly certain it it happens first try.
Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure they have condoms in this game. Actually, I'm fairly certain they do. Treasure. Okay. Oh, there it is. <laughs> disease or no disease. I'm not sure if they have disease in this game, to be honest. I mean, it seems like a possibility, you know, that they could, but I'm not disease really sure. I'm not sure that that's the, um, the angle they were trying to teach 10-year-olds was about disease. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I don't think Ted, I don't think their goal was to have 10 year olds be having sex as well. So there's points on both ends. Missing childhood. All right, I guess we'll, we're just going to probably do them all. Ugh. So there's really no point in doing them in any sort of order. Uh, they definitely teach them how to how to make bad humor. You've got to help me. I'm so worried. It's my. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Please bring her back safe and sound as soon as you can. All right. What are we doing? I we're didn't finding... quite catch it. Oh, we're finding a missing child. I kind of skipped a lot of the text there. I really shouldn't have. Afflicted with the clap, minus twenty stamina. That'd be so funny. Uh, I don't think this game has stamina. But I, I definitely could see something like that, and then uh, you'd have to visit a doctor and pay an absorbent amount of money to get rid of a disease. But they have the magic potion. Oh yeah, I'm sure the potions in this game are pretty placebo. Or, not this, the, this era, not the game. Oh yeah, uh, I am. I am fairly confident there was child support in this game, and it, I don't. I. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's relatively cheap, but I'm pretty sure my brother had like, I want to say like five wives or something. He 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 purposely got one in every single city, and then he like got as many as you possibly could in one city, and it started to add up. But I think you were able to set how much. Um, like, I think it started out like a hundred, but uh, it was between like a hundred and a thousand, I think, a day. I can't remember. It was a lot. If you, if you want to be nice. Like, if you only wanted to pay ten, ten gold a day, I think you got a lot of evil points or something like that. If you paid a thousand, you got good points. If you paid a hundred, it was neutral. Or something, something along those lines. Hmm. But that might have been one of the other Fable games too. I I can't really say for certain about Fable Two. I started Fable Two and then it just kept on crashing, so I gave up on it. Apparently, my Fable Two disc is um too scratched up. Huh. Oh. I guess wolves or something come out of there. I'm really disappointed because I... I really love that game. Plus it's console exclusive, so it's not like I can... I could just go ahead and pick it up. I looked it up. It's like twenty dollars, twenty stinking dollars if you buy, buy it from the store. Which is crazy, cause when I first bought the game, it I paid twenty six ninety nine, and uh, that was back when the game was fairly new. It was twenty six ninety nine. It's twenty dollars now. I mean, how fair is that? Oh, I think I probably have to hold her hand or something. 
Yep. Oh. So I'm pretty sure the wolves attack us on our way out. Are you here to take me home? Hmm. Ah, uh, yes, back in the 1700s or 1600s, back back when you could you could just trust a stranger to go go help your kid. Oops. That kid just say I was supposed to die. That's not cool. Uh, there's something important about this cave later. I I'm I'm like really really confident there's something in here. I have to come back for later. I think it might be a gnome in a silver key or something. <laughs> I just did. I don't think we're necessarily strangers after I save you from wolves. We made it out of the cave. Brilliant. Did you get the uh, sardines? Hi, I bet everyone remembers what you look like. Do you see me sticking the spade right in that girl's face? Ah. And then I got a diamond. Oh, that's funny. Hope that one of you from this one. Hmm. I don't remember uh -huh. wolves attacking us while I was escorting her back. No. Oh yeah, that's um that's Angel. He he's with me in all the videos. That way it's not just me talking to myself anymore. Uh I make snide comments every once in a while. I don't know if people like him yet, but uh I like him so <laughs> so he's gonna stick around. I think you get a lot of viewers because of me. Ah, yes, my whole five viewers. <laughs> five is actually pretty good. I think we're usually at three or four. So. And I think one of them is Nightbot. Oh, and the other one is you. So, really, we're usually at one. <laughs> This entire time I was holding LT and it was just a, I only had to click. Oh, of course it's better than zero. See, this is the part where streaming for two years paid off. There's, there's people that forgot I existed and then come back. Cause I gotta tell you, um, it's probably really difficult to, to get new viewers when you're playing an old game like Fable 3 that nobody else is playing. It's probably not a great Forever business model. Well, your name is kind of confusing. Maybe we should change that. <sighs> the, I was going to keep my name here for like a month or two. So that way we attract all the people who do yeah, remember it. Yeah, to trick them into coming back. Yeah, to, got it. yeah, exactly. To trick them into coming back. And then, then I'm going to change <laughs> it to... The people of Brightfall will end up following. Hold on. Merely show them what you are capable of. And, they cannot fail the and then changing it to my last name plays. I figured my last name is so incredibly um, unique that it's probably not taken. But I'm not going to tell you what my last name is because someone might take it. <laughs> what one of the five of you could possibly take it? Uh. I actually buzz really bomb. It's buzz bomb. I'm telling you. I know it's incredibly unique because um, 
when I went to Ohio State, um, they gave us an email. Oh, wait, hold on. We're about to have a cutscene. Thank you. Oh, hello. Mm. Great, great. Now, this package, like I said, it's very special. I ordered it from a catalog. It was very expensive, but then this is Jonathan we're talking about. He deserves only the best. Now, according to the catalog, the delivery coach travels through Misspeak Valley. Maybe they lost a wheel there or something. It, it's a good place to start looking hmm. around anyway. Oh, yeah. So all of these gnomes, they're they're going to get released. I just don't remember how. Um, anyways, when I was at Ohio State, um, my email was my last name, dot two. Um, there were people who had really... Really, yeah, his dad was not that one. Yeah, my dad was that one. He was from like the '80s. But um, so there were people that had like, like, really, really difficult to pronounce last names. Like, like what you would imagine would be extremely rare. And even those people were like in the teens or the twenties. Not to mention the Smiths, who's, who were in like the ten thousand or the hundred thousand range. But I mean, like, there was some Indian professor I had, and he's a professor, so obviously he got his email a lot long, like a long time ago, not recently, and he had like a really weird ass last day, but he was like fifty five. So the fact that I was dot two means that it's it's pretty darn unique. I I think it might just happen to to be because my. Uh, my grandmother's 100% Romanian, and she moved here when she was, like, I don't know, 40 or 50 or whatever. So, that means our last name was probably only a Romanian thing. So, it'd be pretty rare for somebody with our last name to have, to have left Romania, probably. Because, boy, I gotta tell you, I have, like, a million cousins, and they all obviously have the same last name. Guess they just didn't go to Ohio State. But then again, I don't think many of them went to college because they're all probably between 40 and 90. Nothing but that worthless Uncle Stone. Love it, Alex. We get nothing for this job except. Oh, I thought there was going to be a cutscene or a talk or something. Jesus, where are they coming from? Okay, so that's that's the trick. You watch him start to reload, and that's when you roll. But it doesn't always work. You need to figure out the timing. But if you do it right when he starts to reload... Then it's already reloaded at the end of your roll. Alright, so we got the gargoyle. I wonder if all of the... If all the donos still go to you, because... Because you know... Too, you ran the channel before. Oh, all the donations? Oh, yay. Greiken, Greiken has nothing to do with the channel anymore. He hasn't since he stopped. Um... The, uh, he gave me access to all the emails, all the passwords, all of the everything. So everything, everything is entirely mine. I changed everything. So you don't have to worry about any of that. Except his Discord. He doesn't have his own anymore. And whose fault is that? <laughs> it's not my fault. It's 100% your fault. No, really. And I don't use 100% lightly. I, I don't even say the sky is blue 100% of the time. But I do say 100% of the reason I don't have a Discord is yeah. you. Your Discord, the people, the only one that... Because I was on there all the time. You Online. stopped using the voice chat in there. Right. And then obviously I had to... If I wanted to talk to you, you had you had I had to go to yours. And then... Mine started to get less active and less active, and then it was gone. Because of just me, out of the thousands of people in your Discord. 
I had they like didn't. 200 tops. Oh, and how many would be active in your voice chat? Six. Okay, so those other five didn't keep it going? You you basically recruited them. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was me, you, uh, a knight, uh, that, uh, fear, uh, clumsy, and someone else. I can't remember. You got me. Oh, this is brilliant. brilliant. All right, there's gonna be something here. your display area in pride of place mm -hmm. done that ensure that your oh sek are facing your gargoyle with unbroken line of sight mm -hmm. check face your gargoyle stand confident take a deep breath, breath and, say and say an authoritative voice It was the second us. That's that's what got it. Oh, gargoyles was from Fable Two. Gnomes is Fable Three. Yep. Hmm. Well, he's got his grandma there. <laughs> this is the greatest day of my life. Wait until I tell my family. Oh, I forgot I've stopped talking to them. Oh, who cares about them? This is mind bogglingly amazing. If you haven't noticed, that guy is dressed up as a gnome. In the morning when I wake up and I stumble out of bed I put my pointy hat on my little pointy hat And it doesn't much matter if the sky is rain or shine Because an gnome is a happy fellow all the time They said a gnome is a happy fellow almost all the time They said a gnome is a happy fellow all the time Oh, you'd be surprised, Grammy. Oh, oh, he does have a big nose. I raise my head and say in a loud, resounding voice, Being an old is <laughs> There might be a second mission that releases them, then. It's mind control. In the morning when I wake up, okay, that's I tumble it. out of bed. I put my body hat on my little body hat. Anyways, back to what Polar Lights was saying. Um, so, I'm not going to... I mean, it, it, I'm... D <sighs> my, <laughs> sis, my sister is relatively... Um, I want to say good looking, but not like hot. Because you, you said hot. Um... But the other problem is she's only 15. Or wait. No, she's 16 now. <laughs> there's there's this brief like five month period where we're not 10 years apart. We're nine years apart. Um, I have told her she can make more money streaming than, uh, than she makes at her current job. And yes, you did hear me right. She has a job at 16. Um, but she's, how should I say it? Um, lazy or, um, undetermined. But, uh, I told her, you know, someone as good looking as yourself, you know, you don't want to say that about your own family, but she's good looking enough to make money on Twitch. But, um, she won't, she doesn't want to. 
I mean, I told her she'd probably have to play some video games or something. But, uh... Yeah, she just doesn't want to. I did have her on the, the stream one one year, or one day. A lot of them I think, seem to have just chatting as their most... We, oh, yeah, the hot ones have just chatting. Um, I'm not sure she's that kind of person who just like, oh, yeah, today today I ate noodles, and then um, I, I went out to take a picture of myself, you know, like... Like, mm -hmm. uh, she's just not that kind of just chatting person who shares everything about everything. Oh, yeah. I mean, my mom is relatively good looking, too. I am not. Um, I have, what's it called? Um, accepted the fact that I'm not that good looking. But I have worked toward making... I have, I have worked toward making myself thinner because that's something I can do. I am so close to my goal of weight of one uh, 180. Um, I'm 183 right now. And last year I was 220. Or 219. So I've, I've made pretty good strides in one year. And that's despite the big bowls of cereal. Um, I don't I don't eat cereal anymore. Haven't for like ah, okay. two months. Speaking of cereal, um, my milk is probably spoiled. I'm five <laughs> ten and one eighty. I am six one and uh, one eighty three. But the most interesting thing has to be a rather odd object. I'm... Oh crap! I didn't read what she said. Oh, we're delivering a package. Okay. Ooh, well, we're here. We should probably buy a building if we can. Oh, no, I was always, I was always like 220 back when I was streaming last year. Oh, wow, I have two wedding rings already. All right, let's see. Can I, can I purchase the buildings here? 537 bucks is it? Jeez, that's cheap. This place really is um, impoverished. 710. Can I get anything close to the amount of money that I have? Oh, that's the... I don't, ooh, we're playing the PC version. All right, so there's one distinct ver difference between uh, PC and Xbox. There's a um, repair all button on the uh, PC, and there is not on the Xbox. On the Xbox, you have to go on each individual building. Like this one, you can see house condition is 0%. Um, buy and rent out. Repair. So, I'm pretty sure there's a repair all bu button somewhere. I just don't remember where. But anyways. Well, you have to have more than one, right? Oh yeah, I'm not. I'm not very short, but I think Angel's taller than me, actually. Me. Uh, yeah, I'm six foot four. Yeah, I'm I'm only six one, so I'm I'm short to Angel, but I'm I'm taller than most people. Um, I used to be six hundred pounds, though. I still consider myself short, though. Don't know why. I just do. Wait, what? At six one? Yeah. Uh, well, come, the problem come, is, come walk around this country over here well, for a short time, and you'll think you're taller than anybody. Well, my problem was I was always the short kid. Um, up until about my, I want to say sophomore year of high school, I was always the short kid. Oh, see ya. Uh, see you there, uh, S.E.K. I really should. I, I think he prefers silver, actually. But anyways, I was, um, I want to say 5'8 or 5'8 seven or something like that all the way up until like my junior year or not uh, my freshman year of high school and then when I started playing baseball or trying out for baseball in high school I grew like really fast I I went from freshman year at like five seven five eight to my junior senior year at six one so I, I went from the short kid to the tall kid 
So I, I still feel like the short kid inside, even though I know I'm not. I actually shrunk when I joined the Navy. I had to go from uh, six foot four to six foot three and three quarters. <laughs> Why is six foot four was a cutoff that I couldn't get in the submarines? Oh, that's funny. Yeah. They don't want people bumping their head. Oh, thank you. From my cousin, is it? She's always sending me odd things she finds around the house. Although this one does look quite intriguing. I shall have a closer look when I have the time. I wonder if uh, Cedar Point, the roller coaster amusement park, I wonder if they have a height limit. Because, nah. I mean, there there are some rides that um, are, rel like, if you lifted your hands, you could almost touch something. Like, for instance, there's um, a ride called the Magnum XLR. And this ride, it it goes really, really fast. And then it goes a loop. And then it comes back. And then when it, on its way back, it goes through two tunnels. And I got to tell you, if I were, like, let's say close to seven foot tall and then I put my hands up, I bet you it would, it could chop off my fingers. Hmm. Cause I mean, it, it's not necessarily low, but I mean, if you're seven foot and you also have the wingspan of a seven foot person, you, I can imagine that would happen. Uh, Polar, I, I went in the submarines, but my father died when I was in it. So I ended up on a uh, surface, uh, actually a FFG, but a long time ago. Oh, I see the gnome. The gnome mission just started. So let's go ahead and see what's going to happen here. Another gnome. Oh, they're all gone. Oh, it's you. Thank goodness. You, you've got to help me. My gnomes. My beautiful gnomes. With their little hats. I have to get them back. I just have to, you understand? I, I have to. I've been forgetting to uh, listen to it before doing the click and hold. That time I did not. I knew I could count on you. All my darling gnomes have deserted me. Well, all but one, and he's right in the house. His name's Lionel. Ah, uh, yeah. He's had yeah. A chip on his shoulder, that one. I tried patching it, but it didn't do any good. Please, try and. Now they're all destroyers. And don't worry, you won't have any trouble finding him. He's yeah, I think there's still one or two on commission. His voice. Alright, so you want to do that gnome thing as soon as possible. That way you can actually start coming across all the gnomes. He said the first gnome was at his house. See, Brian's got himself a girlfriend. Set his sights awfully low. There we go. It's teaching us how to find the gnomes. I probably should have waited to hear more insults. <laughs> we'll hear plenty of them. Because what some of the gnomes are really well hidden. And I'll spend a really long time looking for them. We'll hear plenty of insults by then. What happened? I heard your gun and Lionel suddenly appeared out here. But did, did you shoot him? <laughs> However you did it, you, you have to find the others. Hunt them down, wherever they are. <laughs> and get them all back. I can work out a way to fix this. Ya mother! You shut it! I told you never to mention her! <laughs> Perhaps the company can help. Well, I am going to write a letter to their customer relations department. A strongly worded letter. Yeah, so I think that mission's always ongoing. Welcome ah. to the sanctuary. Yep, there it is. It it basically it's never gonna go away. Okay. These gnomes steal people's underwear. No, they um they were brought to life by that dude and now they just insult people and they wanna get shot. Or maybe they don't wanna get shot, maybe I just shoot them. God, I love the loading speed, especially when you're the same 
like place. Oh, this is terrible. Somehow the gate got open, and all of my chickens have escaped. I don't know how they did it. Those chickens, and maybe I like the will. chickens. Chickens are extraordinarily clever. Also, I'm pretty sure some of these side missions are um are missable. So you basically always want to do all of the side missions before doing the main one. Right. You'll need this. Aww. To what most people think, chickens are very, very crafty. We're almost at three hours already. Come here, chicky, chicky. Yeah, but I did promise we'd go like ten minutes over. Because of the sound issues at the start. No problem here. They won't remain one concentrated force. They'll have redeployed into groups of three or so to maximize their tactical advantage. When you find one of these squads, flap your wings and such, and they should follow you back here. But don't let them try to negotiate with you. You do not want those little buggers inside your head, believe me. So speaking of the chicken suit that we're about to take a look at. You have several new suits. Those will make dresses. So the interesting thing about the chicken suit is in Fable 2, which I can confirm st it's still there. Um, you know that catacombs we went to at the beginning of this game? Well, yeah. the um, the catacombs were also in Fable 2. And at the end of the catacombs, there was a chest. And I clicked on it because it, it's still there. And it says, visit fable2.com. And obviously, that, that website is probably decommissioned by now because, I mean, what? It's over 10 years old. 2008? Yeah, it's, it's 11. Er, 11. It's 13 years old. Wait. They follow me? I can't tell. Yeah, they are. Okay. Um, so the only way to get the chicken suit is by legacy, basically. And I have it. There's an achievement for it. Um, I think it was kick. It was either like kick 10 chickens or kick chickens a, a, di a certain distance while wearing a chicken suit, which obviously the catch is you have to do the, you have to do it while, yeah, I mean, you have to do the Fable 2 thing. Or right, you have to do the Fable2.com thing to, to do it. Um, and I have that achievement. Um, I actually have Fable2 100%ed. And there were more online-based achievements, which are basically all legacies now. Unless you've got more than one Xbox, and you decide to beat the game like 6, 7, 8, 9 times. And the reason why I say 6, 7, 8, 9 is um, there's Hero Dolls, I believe, the tradable item in that game. And you, when you start playing the game, you have no idea which ho which uh, doll is going to be part of your game. But uh, you have to play it to a certain point to figure out which 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 doll you can to do. And I think it's not relatively at the beginning of the game either. So basically, you have to trade it from one Xbox to the other, and that's that's like the only way to do it. Back when I did it, there were a bunch of people online. You could just message those people, and boom, it was simple enough. I think the chickens were in town, if I recall. Oh. It's time to find him. Oh, there he is. I bet the ladies love you. You can share makeup tips and trade shoes. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Oh, I didn't even see the chickens here. Nice. Oh, I didn't actually do the, the, the thing, but I just talked to people and it was simple enough. Um... However, I did not get to 100% Fable 3. Um, Fable 3 has got like, I want to say like 37 weapons or something. And the only way to get the achievement is to get other people to give you their weapons. And the problem with that is you need to have all 37 at once. And 
people aren't going to give you their game exclusive weapon unless you give them your game exclusive weapon. So it was really, really difficult to get 37 at once, and I don't think I ever did it. Although, from what I just learned with this DLC, you can get a handful of them just by purchasing DLC, which I didn't do, but... Oh well. I think I remember seeing, like, you can get, like, 25 weapons or whatever, and there's 37 unique ones. And then... Um, your personal game could have four unique weapons. So, you had to trade between at least five people, and obviously there were going to be overlapping weapons with those five people. So yeah, it was, it was, it was rough stuff. I mean, they, they really, really wanted you to play Fable with other people, um, which is fine. When, um, Fable came out, it was very popular. It's still very popular. I shouldn't say still very popular, but, um, it was, it was always popular. Um, even like several years after the game came out, but I mean, obviously, 13 years later, it's not popular anymore. And some of the achievements are just basically impossible to get. The, the weapon one, I think, was even harder than the hero doll one. Because I think you could, in theory, figure out the hero doll one uh, relatively early. But the weapon one, I think you have to get somewhat close to beating the game to figure out or to be able to purchase the unique weapons. So, I mean, you really would have to beat the game probably 10 plus times in order to transfer them all to one account. I mean, I'm pretty sure I got close, but I never succeeded. It's, it's something that bothers me to this day that I don't, I don't think I have it a hundred percented. It said the qu Where are these chickens? I can hear them. Oh, there they are. Oh, there's another... There's another gnome in the area. Oh, wow, that was simple. Where, doggy? Where? Oh, 2000. Oh, well, uh, if you think it, it's ugly now, you should have saw what it looked like on the Xbox 360. But yeah, you're right. I guess this is 2010. 2008 was Fable 2. God, they really like giving me makeup and haircuts. I mean, like, I really don't care about them. Hmm. So it looks like we have this one, and then we're going to do one more mission. And then, then we'll be ready to do the next main quest. I think we will, we will end it right at the end of the next mission. So we'll start the stream right right prepared for the next mission. Another another reason why Fable 3's popularity was so high was I don't know if you've ever heard about games for gold. Um If you have an Xbox Live Gold membership, you get a free game. Oh. Interesting. I think I think it was you let him out. You're right. I admit it. in this chicken oppression but they might have destroyed the entire town possibly the world. the world they might have gone off to live peacefully on their own they might have created great works of art or literature we don't know and we have no right to take away their fundamental liberties based on our own prejudices well now it's clear taking away their liberties isn't enough i have to assume you'll try to facilitate another escape To kill them all. Oh, no, Bernard. No, don't. All right. Keep them locked up. At least so we can talk about this. You. You infiltrated the chickens. You lived among them. 
You know them better than anyone. What's to be done? It's a simple matter of kill or be killed. No, Bernard. Well, I have never clicked kill chickens, so let's see what it does. Right. It's like I've said all along. We have to kill them all. You bastard! You murderer! Look, you're either with me or you're one of them. Which is it? Well done. You have gathered quite an impressive following in this Whitehall. Is all this, this should be more than enough to convince this little Hamlet to send aid to the weather. No, no, I believe Samuel awaited you at the town gates to express that very sentiment. I think it's time for us to split up. I can't live with a man. Uh, we're not necessarily gonna go to Samuel yet. There's just one more. Yeah, well, chicken. I'm curious how close we are to the moral thing because we just did another evil decision. Will you be wanting a different? All right. Oh, we're really close to the the moral standing one. I really feel like we killed more human enemies, but that's fine. Care to equip a different? Uh, swear you need to play some current games. I mean, I agree, but, um, I feel comfortable playing games that, that I like and I've played a hundred times before. I'm not necessarily worried too much about the viewership at the moment. I will branch off into newer games for sure later, but for now, um, just to get, get the hang of streaming and get the hang of everything. Because I don't know if you've noticed, the audio is probably not the greatest um, balance between me, Angel, and the game. And those are the things that I work on, like, by re-watching re portions of the stream on my own. And then I try to tweak the audio, but there's, there's a lot of things I need to fix and polish up. You, good sir, you who live in such a tumultuous epoch. Do you not thirst for the drama and the emotion of a properly structured tragic play? Of course you don't. You want to escape your troubles. You want to be made merry. You want to be amused. It is no good. We shall never agree. Ah, if only we could get our hands on Morley's lost play. It would solve all our uh, Angel's mic will be better yes, in three to four months, probably. Um, when he gets his new computer, he's going to get my cat cam, which has got a better microphone than his current microphone. So that issue will be fixed up a bit. Well, plus the mic on a new headset to be better, right? I can almost guarantee that the mic in the webcam is going to be better. I never heard your cat uh, saying anything, so I don't know. Wait a second. I don't even remember that that uh, the headset that you showed. I don't even remember it having a microphone section. Let me check. One can only hope they were not burned when the king closed down the academy and its library. I didn't think it did. Oh, what well, do you know it does? Oh, you can't tell because the box is green. Mm. But you can see the microphone, I guess. Um, I. Let's be honest here, or let's just let's just make this kind of clear. Um, I don't think I've ever heard anybody ever say that their their uh, headset microphone was better than like a webcam microphone. Like, every, anytime I ever hear people talk about microphones and it involves a headset microphone, those are the always the worst microphones out there. Uh, my problem is that uh got a loud voice area. Like, like, I know you're using a laptop. Your, built, your laptop's built-in microphone might be better than the headset's microphone. Could be. And by probably, I mean most likely. I mean, I, like I said, I have never, ever heard anybody say 
Like, even the expensive oh, ones. No. I've never heard anybody say we're good. Oh, yeah, this is the, the mission that involved that... That playwright. It was really annoying. We're doing the whole thing in a chicken costume. I actually had just thought of that right before you said it. And be aware, I have absolutely completed half the game of the chicken costume before because I was too lazy to change. You'll know you've completed half the game of the chicken costume when you uh, go back to your path thing and it shows you in your chicken costume for each, like, mission. Just can't leave well enough alone, can you? Bloody literary tourists, bane of my afterlife. Uh oh. <laughs> Listen, you. You're not getting my lost plate, you hear? It's rubbish. Worse than rubbish. I mean, what was I thinking mixing tragedy and comedy? I must have been off my rocker. It would seem, my dear fellow, you have been apprehended by the ghost of Philip Morley. That makes us both his captives. I am Ransom Locke. If the name seems familiar, it is because I was once a detective of some renown. And yet, here I am, ready to live out the rest of my days, trapped in a book. As far as I can deduce, we are currently in a scene from one of Morley's greatest romantic plays, the near tragedy of Oliver and Ethel. I believe if we are to escape, we must act out the scene. But performing is not one of my talents. If I am correct, putting on this costume should set things in motion. Why do I have to be the chick? Because you chose a dude to start with. Well, I can't disagree. My love, my life, my son. If thou wouldst but give me one sign, one gesture that would speak of your affections, then might I think this grey existence worth living. <laughs> uh, yes, a classic moment in the play. You are Ethel, the beautiful young daughter of a dung merchant. Show Oliver dung to merchant. Love him, and we may be able to leave. See, it's those little things like I told you they try they try to make everything funny. Ooh, I've never done abuse before. We're gonna get a lot of decision making in this one. Rob dead. <laughs> Wait, are you telling me I have to click A? Nah, do it. Oh, that's funny. I want to keep doing it until eventually something happens. Stop! Thou hast driven a dagger into my breast and ended all hope of happiness. Thusly, I must end my life. <laughs> A shadow approaches. Take me. And so I die. I think he is dying too hard. Well, it's an unorthodox reading of the text, but one cannot argue with the results. Hmm. I see you are gifted with remarkable literary cunning, but. Can you really <laughs> comprehend the depths of my work? Then we shall see. 
Ah, yes. This is undoubtedly a scene. No, not this costume again. Bloodbath at the royal court. And you just got rid of that thing. The role of the fool is one filled with. Does this one have a crown? It will I feel like I feel like the other one didn't have a crown. Can you check on um, Polar Light says the other one did have a crown. What fresh insolence uh. is this? Out of my throne, you impertinent buffoon. Stand before your king and do your jester's duty. Tis a troublesome time for this court and my crown grows heavy. So make me laugh or I shall have your head. Do, 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 do. Declare lust. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You look so cute in that crown. Why, Jester, I had no idea you felt that way about me. Or is this another one of your japes? Japes? What in the world does that mean? Hi. I mean, it sounds like it means tricks. Is it is it really gay if you kiss something that's not real? Like a ghost? Certainly a radical interpretation of the text, but effective nonetheless. Handle my royal dramas as well as handle my romances. Exactly, Polar Lights. <laughs> exactly. I did I did say that this game tries to it doesn't pull its punches. It tries to throw comedy everywhere. Some of the comedy lands, some of the comedy is just cringe. Which would mean this is the gladiatorial arena from Act 5, where Titus is finally slaughtered by savage warriors seeking revenge. A favorite scene of mine as a child, I must admit. And here is Titus's famous costume. I had some pajamas that looked just like it. Put it on and you will take on the greatest role of your life. Mm. I actually look pretty good in that suit. Titus, thy pox membered body shall pay for thy monstrous. Can you keep your suit? My son I, I mean we already have it. You. Now shall revenge be mine. Cold is your corpse and all the more flavorsome for it. Do try to make your demise convincing. So I assume the evil thing to do. Wait. Complete the scene by dying in battle or defeating his men. I assume the evil thing to do is to ruin the scene and defeat his men because they, because like, it said I was supposed to complete the scene and I was supposed to die in battle. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and defeat his men because that's got to be evil. Okay. Why it gotta be sulfur scented? We're gonna be rich. It's not nice to play with guns. I love that over the head shot. I've definitely done that before. I don't actually think I've ever 
just died there. A tremendous I don't like dying. That's just the ending I wanted to see when I was a young boy attending the theater every weekend. I wonder what scene will follow now. Oh, what scene could possibly follow such a masterful rendition of my work? And the way you improvise some of those roles, you brought new life to my words. I stand in awe. You have earned the prize no mortal has ever been honored mm -hmm. with before. My missing play. I entrust it to you, for I know that you will do it justice. I call it the ham sandwich. The metaphorical tough. <laughs> All I want for Christmas is a ham sandwich. Ah, you have retrieved our aged investigator. Happy day! Have you perchance found... This is no time for perchances, Lambert. The play, do you have it? Get in the kitchen. Make me a sandwich. Yeah. Thank you a million times. Sandwich, Thank get you. in my belly. His head bosom is already working. Comedy and tragedy will at last join hands. More, more comedy that just didn't have to be there. Bear witness to the tragic futility that is man. Oh, how it doth sear my senses to see. Paradise and yet to be barred. That reminds me of a great joke. A guard, a monk, and a chicken walk into a bar. Unfortunately, the bartender had had a mild heart attack that morning, so none of them get served. And yet, what purpose doth heartache serve when the infinite dark blanket that is death falls softly upon our still beating corpse? That reminds me of another one. A corpse walks into a bar and says, Can I have a lemonade? <laughs> Certainly, replies the bartender. I've never seen this. Polar Light says, These guys have more viewers than we do. Sad play, which reminds us we are made of nothing but clay. There's time only for our fool to say, Great big giant bosoms. What the hell was that? Biggest load of old tosh I ever saw. It didn't even make sense. Worst play ever. <laughs> All right then, so that's it for I'm that. To understand why Philip Morley never published this particular piece of work in his lifetime. Indeed, it is. <laughs> he understands. Rise with the broadness of brain to truly appreciate it. If you ask me, it was the tragic elements that let it down. One cannot argue with the comedy. No oh, pox on you, pinch. Yes, the uh, it was the the part that was definitely holding the play back was the the tragedy. Definitely not the part where he just yelled, "Great big giant bosoms." <laughs> All right. Um, I think that's it. Um. I do I save here? Now here is where you can find to the mo save room. Is this mine already? Current hero. Two hours forty six. Yeah. All right. So that's the auto save. We're gonna make a manual save. Perfect. All right. That will be it for today. Um, I will see you guys again on. Saturday, where we will okay. be playing Lord of the Rings The Third Age. I have yet to upload last week's video, so I have yet to know if what we did that changed helped or not. I have a feeling most of it's probably still going to be copywritten, so probably won't work we'll on YouTube, but yeah, we'll find out. I need to just upload all the videos at once. Like, I'm probably a week behind and getting close to them being removed. Because apparently if you're not partner, you only have two weeks to uh, to post the videos. And you can only post them one at a time. So I don't know. And it, it has no progress bar. So you just click upload and then 
you, you give it probably, I don't know, three, four hours, then you upload the next one. Because, I mean, I don't have enough viewers on YouTube that it matters, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, put to have one on Thursday after the stream, have one on Saturday after the stream. Maybe if I got bigger, I'd do that. But for now, it's just it's just important that I get the videos there because you no, Twitch only keeps it for two weeks. Of course. I just can't work out but anyways, have a nice night, guys. Thank you for sticking around. I appreciate it. Bye.